Hey everybody, Austin here again with another Let's Play video. Today it's going to be Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the sake of Genesis. Yet another Let's Play I've been meaning to do for quite some time. I did Sonic the Hedgehog 1 about six months ago, so I think it's uh, due time we give part two a chance. And um, yeah, we're gonna be playing with uh, your stock difficulty settings. Not really difficulty setting, but you can, uh, you can change whether you play as Sonic alone, whether you play as Tails alone. I think, or whether you play as both Sonic and Tails. And uh, when you're playing as both Sonic and Tails, uh, Tails can collect rings and so forth, uh, and take out some enemies and, and stuff like that. And it gives the uh, the game an interesting dynamic compared to the first Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, also, the, for those of you guys out there that have not played this game before, uh, a second player can actually pick up a controller and uh, take control of Tails as well. Uh, and uh, Tails can pick up Sonic, um, collect rings again, take out enemies, blah blah blah. Uh, Tails also has infinite lives, so if you're playing a two-player mode, um, yeah, uh, you give the controller to your friend who's not very good at video games and they can still have fun uh, with this game. So uh, we're going to just try to play through the game. Um, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to try to go for Chaos Emeralds. What I think is going to happen is I'm going to try to get them, but I'm not going to try terribly diff, uh, terribly hard, basically. Like, um, I'm I, I'm actually going to this uh, into this run very cold. I haven't played this game in probably about two years now, and um, so yeah, we might not get all the chaos emeralds. So this isn't going to be a, a perfect run by any stretch, but we'll see what happens. So, I remember the uh, the later bonus stage has given me a, a heck of a time, so we'll see if that's still the case. So, to get uh, to these bonus stages, you've got your checkpoint posts, just like you do in the first Sonic the Hedgehog. However, unlike the first Sonic the Hedgehog, when you get a certain amount of rings, I think it's, it's either, tw I think it's like 20 or 25 in this one. Maybe it's 30, I'm not sure. Uh, but if you have a, a minimum amount of rings on hand, uh, the post will start... Uh, It'll open up this portal above the post, basically, and you can jump into it, and that'll take you to the bonus stage. If you successfully complete the bonus stage, um, you'll get a Chaos Emerald at the end of it. So, the bonus stages either have two laps, or there are three laps, I'm not sure. Or two sections, or three sections. I think it's three, actually. Yeah, I get 140 rings, this is the third one, so... So you basically just need to collect rings when you're in these bonus stages, and you need to make sure you don't hit those uh, those mine, um, those mines. Otherwise, you'll lose rings. And uh, in the beginning, the first couple of bonus stages is not really a big deal, but later on, it gets pretty tough. And it's uh, that's where this that's where the challenge in Sonic the Hedgehog lies. The the core game itself is not a very difficult game. Uh, Sonic has always been a relatively easy series. Um, but its challenge has always been in trying to get all the Chaos Emeralds, and that's not nearly as easy. Uh, you need to really know those bonus stages if you want to have an easy time with that. So now what I'm going to do is actually kind of tread backwards, because one of the cool things about coming out of a bonus stage is that all the rings uh, that you previously got, they reappear. So if you know there's another post coming up, you can try to just get your rings back up. So I'm going to go ahead and do anyway, just because, um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, in the first Sonic the Hedgehog, basically how to get to a bonus stage was, you had to have 50 rings by the end of the stage, and you had to jump into the big ring that appears at the end of the level. And in this one, I'm pretty sure the threshold to get into these uh, bonus stages is much lower than it was in the first Sonic the Hedgehog. Um... And because there's multiple checkpoint posts per level, you've got um, you've got more opportunities to get all the Chaos Emeralds earlier on in the game. So in the first Sonic the Hedgehog, it wasn't possible to get all the Chaos Emeralds before the end of the uh, the third world or the yeah. Um, and this, you can get all your Chaos Emeralds. I want to say if you do it just right, probably by the end of the second world. Um, Maybe even, maybe if you do it just perfect, you can get them all by the end of the, your first world. I don't think so, though. I don't think it's possible. Um, if there are any Sonic experts out there, feel free to uh, chime in. I do not really consider myself a Sonic expert. Um, 
big fan of the classic ones, but uh, I don't actually play them all that often these days, so I, I can't definitely cannot claim to be an expert. So. So I need uh, 19 more rings, so this should be a cakewalk unless I start slamming into some mines or something like that. And later on, as we get through these bonus stages, uh, farther into these bonus stages, sorry, I'm going to have to start uh, focusing a little bit more and stop talking just so I can uh, make sure I get these emeralds. Uh, that is assuming we actually get to these later bonus stages, but we'll see. You know, I, I just told myself and you guys that we're not going to be trying very hard, but if I get six emeralds in. I think there's eight in this version. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I think there's seven. So if we get like five or six in, I'm probably going to be like, yeah, you know what? Maybe we should try pretty hard. Because what's nice about getting all the Chaos Emeralds in this one is, whereas in the first Sonic the Hedgehog, really the only thing was it changed the ending a little bit, I believe. Um, in this game, it actually allows you to turn into Super Sonic, and that was one of the big changes in... Uh, going from the first Sonic to this one and uh, Super Sonic is just a ton of fun to play with and It makes the later levels a, a complete cakewalk if uh, if you've got Super Sonic so They also added the spin dash in this version You can do that by holding down and tapping any button all three buttons on your controller act as jump And so it's basically just down and jump to do the spin dash Nope, there's another post we need to get that might as well take it. That'll be three emeralds if we can if we can finish it. Got to watch out for those monkey guys. They're uh, pretty tricky. Almost at an extra life too, but I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah, so there might only be three checkpoints in that in this level, so... So we're not going to be able to get any more Chaos Emeralds here. Need 110, so we need not too many. So basically the ring count that shows up on screen that they require you to get, it's a culmination of all the rings you've gotten so far. So when they say, you know, you've got to get 110 rings, well, you don't actually need to get 110, you need to get however many you don't have compared to that 110. So like when I went into this, I had like 70 something. Oh, we messed up. Yeah, I took I took a hit. So this, these levels are very strict. If you don't, if you take a hit, a lot of times it means you can't you can't go on. So that was really bad, and that was a dumb mistake on my part. That's a bummer because uh, I was actually feeling pretty good about that. I was like, oh man. <laughs> All right, let's just exit the uh, the level. That would have put us in like a really good shape if I was able to get that emerald. Now one of the other big differences uh, from Sonic 1 is that in Sonic 2, there's only two acts per stage, so... Uh, if I want to try to get some Chaos Emeralds, I'm going to need to probably do a little bit of a better job here. So Sonic 2 also has some secrets, like right here, I think it's right here. If you hold down, you'll look down, and when you look down, you can actually come in here. There's uh, there's some secrets. You gotta be really careful about that spring, though. If you're holding left as you go out, you're gonna hit those spikes and uh, take damage. It's pretty much guaranteed, so...
Now I don't know where this uh, <laughs> where this next post is, so it could be up there for all I know. Might as well get all the rings we can, maybe get an extra life or something like that. There it is. Or not get an extra life. I should have got those other rings first before grabbing that. Okay, not a big deal. I would like to get a lot of lives because some of the later stages are a little tricky. And I don't remember if you get continues in this game. You probably do, you probably get at least one, but I just, I don't remember. So the better you can do with these rings, um, you know, the, the greater of a chance you have a succeeding even if you do take a hit. But I think we're roughly about where we were last time we got here. Yeah, the level design here isn't getting crazy yet. Later on, though, they basically put mines, like, on the turns, and so you've got to constantly be jumping, and it's really frustrating. Um, back when I was a kid, you know, it wasn't such a big, big of a deal, because I could just play the game over and over and learn the levels, but today, as an adult, I don't have that patience, and, um, or that time, for the most part. So... So we'll see what happens. And that's it. We did pretty well that time. We should have done that well last time, though. That way, this time would have been the fourth Emerald. <laughs> and we only would have needed three more to get uh, Supersonic. That would have been pretty awesome. Actually, now that I think about it, I think you can get... Uh... Ooh, that was close. We're about to die there. All right, I'm going to come back, get some more rings. Oh, we took a hit. Stupid monkeys. Those are my least favorite enemies in the game. Because, you know, it's not the enemies themselves. It's that they throw projectiles out. They've got these little coconuts that they drop. And, um... Usually what happens is you'll try to jump on the monkey and uh, the coconut will hit you. Oh, I did it. Oh, stupid bug thing. Got hit by its projectile. It's okay, it's not a big deal. I was just I was just going back to get rings to, to get an extra life. Not really, you know, for the Chaos Emerald aspect or anything like that. Because I knew that when we got to that last checkpoint right there, uh, we had like 93 rings, and I could have got an extra life if I just got the rings right below uh, the checkpoint. It's not really necessary. We're going to have... I think we're going to have plenty of lives by the end of the game. It's not going to be a big deal. But, um... I want to say there might be another secret down here, too. No. Alright, where's our next checkpoint? Where is it? There's one right before the boss, but I want to save that one for, um... For last, obviously. Alright, extra life territory again. Actually, the boss is coming up shortly, so we need... I think we need to backtrack a little bit. Yeah, we're not gonna be going for all these Chaos Emeralds. Uh, you know what? Let's go for all the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> basically what's happening right now, guys. 
Ooh, that was close. It's a good thing I didn't get hit. <laughs> okay, I thought we were at the uh, the boss area, but maybe it's coming up. Maybe there's a check. No, that's not a checkpoint. That's instant death down that pit. I'm trying to maximize uh, all of the, the checkpoint posts, basically. And, um... That's pretty much what I'm trying to do here. Maybe there's only two checkpoint posts on this level. Because, uh, there's this one right here, this is right before the boss, so... I knew this one was gonna be here, but I wanted to make sure... to see if there was a third one on this level. I probably should have done a Sonic only run because Tails can get in the way and I think he can lose his rings on this on these bonus levels. I don't know if those count towards my total. I'm not really trying to pay attention right here. <laughs> Keep the eyes on the prize. All right, good stuff. We got it. So, three more to go. And we're technically still in the first world. Or first zone. I probably should have went back and got a ring. But this is not a difficult boss at all, so it doesn't really matter. Generally, you can uh, just juggle these bosses over and over, kind of like that. But... I'm gonna play it a little bit safe just because I have zero rings. Normally, I don't ever have zero rings when I get to a boss like this, so... So we're at the uh, famous chemical plant zone. One of the, the coolest tunes in 16-bit gaming. Oops. Again, we're going to be taking our time a little bit since... Oh, jeez, man. Okay. I was going to say, we're going to be taking our time a little bit to get some rings, but... Uh... Getting hit was not doing us uh, any favors at all, so. Sometimes I like to just wait for these guys because uh, they shoot those projectiles and I don't want to lose my rings. I 
I'm basically waiting for a checkpoint. I haven't found one yet, so... Extra life. No, that's... Damn it, man. Wow, we got through this whole level without a checkpoint. That's bad. You know, I was taking my time so we can try to get a Chaos Emerald, but... See, this isn't going to be good because this is going to put us in the, um... The Aqueduct Zone, or whatever it's called in this game. I forgot what it's called. Um, and then it's probably going to put us in the Mine Shaft as well. And it's kind of a pain to, to get the uh, Emeralds there on the, at those levels. There's a lot of... That's where the game, I think, starts picking up in difficulty. You know, like I said, the game's not really that hard, per se, but if you're trying to get the Chaos Emeralds, it can be uh, quite tricky. So these platforms here, if you step on them, they rise up, but a lot of times they'll reveal secrets down below. And these little springs here are pretty annoying. And if you just go back off screen, it'll basically respawn. Extra life. It's up to 10 lives right now. That's pretty good. Checkpoints. Could use a checkpoint. Because we could use some Chaos Emeralds. There's one. How do I get back to it? <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh, I guess I'm not going back up there either. You know what? Let's try. Just for fun. You can- Oh, you can't do it. <laughs> Uh, we got another extra life. I guess that's fine. Whoa! I jumped and just went crazy there. Alright, so this might be the checkpoint right before the boss. So, hopefully we can at least get this emerald. <clears throat> wow, that was almost perfect. Perfectly bad. <laughs> oh, come on. I really hope that when Tails gets hit, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't lose his rings, because if he does, like, you would really need to play as Sonic only, if that's the case, because then Tails is just getting in the way. He's not doing anything beneficial for you. Alright, so down below, it's basically an endless pit, so you've got a... Goodbye, Tails! Please don't come back. Oh, we're not near the boss yet. Okay. Maybe we'll have one more chance. Add another Chaos Emerald. Ugh. Oh. There goes our chance. Man. That sucks. I was really hoping I'd actually get uh, all the Chaos Emeralds in uh, this playthrough, but it's not looking good now. I mean, we had a great, uh, pretty good first level as far as Chaos Emeralds go. Or uh, 
pretty good first zone, I guess, or first world. I don't even know what you call them in Sonic. But uh, now it's not looking so good. Oh, I made that mistake again. You gotta watch out for those uh, disappearing platforms, or rotating platforms. Because uh, if you fall down, you do fall to your death. So this next uh, set of stages is uh, water stages. Um, You've also got to watch out for um, these things right here. Those like Dr. Robotnik symbols. They shoot out arrows and they'll follow you as far as uh, they need to go. So you got to really watch out for those. And if you're like me and you're trying to get Chaos Emeralds, they make life kind of hell on this stage. So, all right, here's our first checkpoint. Oh, it is, you do need 50. Oh my God. We wasted another one, guys. I could have sworn it was less than 50 in this version. That's really bad. <laughs> Maybe I should just say screw it and we'll not, we'll not even go for Chaos Emeralds. There's a thing about trying to go for Chaos Emeralds in this game is if you don't get it, it it takes so long to try to to try to get them. You know, like an hour long game might turn into a two hour long game. That sort of thing. So we might just say screw it and try to uh, bolt through the rest of the game. But let's try this again. Tails, don't let me down. Man, just like last time, we barely had, um... Barely had enough. Man, this is really tight. Now we need 200 rings? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Actually, it might actually happen where if Tails gets hit, the rings he has gets absorbed into you, so... Maybe that's what's actually happening. I don't know if somebody can clarify. Um, feel free to post a comment below and let me know. We failed. Yeah, these it's tough. You guys can see it's tough. I mean, if you wanna if you wanna get all the chaos emeralds, that's where the challenge arises in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So that sucks. Sorry, I'm pretty much at the point where I'm gonna give up, because usually what happens is I spend all day on this level trying to get the freaking chaos emeralds and I don't <laughs> don't really care at this point. <laughs> So we just run really fast, or attempt to. a little bit higher. Come on. Oh, jeez. Alright, we're probably gonna die. 
We are dead. Come on, Bubble. Never mind, we're good. Oh, come on. Did you guys see that? There was a little fish up there. Oh, little robotic piranha. I swear, the enemy placement in this level is just not my favorite in this game. Literally, it's like you jump up uh, to what you think is safety. And uh, you'll find that there is no safety to be had. So I was watching a speedrunner play this game not too long ago, and he would just get on the top of the uh, the totem pole and just spin dash like this all day. I thought that was really awesome. I had never thought about that as a kid. I guess you got to time it right. I tried it at first, but it didn't work. Man, yeah, I'm not hopeful with this whole Chaos Emerald thing. I, I actually wanted to show off um, Supersonic, but, I, you know, like I said, I'm not going to worry about it. Not going to worry about it. This level is pretty fun, though. You can get lost in this level pretty easily. Uh, if you go into those center gates where you've got the uh, slot machine emblems, or inserts, um, you can basically, it, you know, it is like a slot machine, and uh, you can get lots of rings and extra lives and stuff like that. It's really cool. One of the great things about Sonic the Hedgehog is even though you have a time, um, you've got 10 minutes to, uh, to get through each stage, so you can really just, you know, take your sweet time on these levels and uh, really enjoy them for what they are. Just explore everything there is to explore. So for those of you guys that know about me and Pinball, I sometimes wonder if Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is to blame for that. Oh, we needed four more rings for an extra life. Not a big deal. So 
So these springs here, you have to hold uh, hold down your jump button and charge them up, basically. If you don't charge them all the way, uh, you don't go far enough. And there's these uh, little platforms here. There's a bit of a scoring system involved for these. It's easier to take advantage of it, I think, when you don't have tails with you. So, actually, how I would normally play this game is... Uh, I would play it without tails, actually. Let's go ahead and get one of these. Oh, look at that! Three Sonics. That's probably, what, 25 rings? I don't know. Oh, let's get back down there, get back down there, get back down there. Yes! <laughs> we got it. Although we're probably gonna fail, again. But it's okay. We can try. See, if you had a second player playing, uh, I think that would make life easier. If, uh, assuming Tails rings absorb into Sonic when Tails takes a hit, uh, that way, player two would just be able to go. Oh, we failed again! Oh my god! And tails, you suck! Man! Alright, we're not getting supersonic. It's a little disappointing. I was feeling really good about it after the, the first level. Or first world, but. Oh well. Can't win them all, I suppose. I mean, we do have a lot of stages left in the game, so it's not like... It's not like we couldn't do it, but I just... We're not gonna do it. Yeah, and like I said, I, I don't know if Tails is affecting my success on the bonus levels, but uh, I do know that normally when I play this game, I play with, uh, without Tails. It's just one less character on the screen that you have to worry about. Um, oops. Man, what is wrong with me? Come on. That was bad. Such an easy boss, but you kind of want to roll up to the sides and um, just like jump into him. So just like that. It's not that hard. Ooh, there's a spring uh, pop bumper up there. Oh, come on! Man, what is what is wrong with me? This is bad. Like, I never die in these bosses. Pretty much ever. I don't know if I noted in the beginning, but I'm actually going into this, like, extremely rusty. I haven't played this game in a couple of years, and so that's probably it. A lot of times when I do these Let's Plays, I, um... I usually do some practice sessions beforehand. You know, I'll beat the game once or twice, but... Uh... You know, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. I was like, you know, I don't, I don't need to practice Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> having to practice Sonic the Hedgehog is like me having to practice the first Super Mario Brothers or something like that. Although the first Super Mario Brothers is infinitely more difficult than Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I will, I will say that. Um, 
Sonic 2 is a very easy game. I mean, it's thanks to the whole ring mechanic, you have a you have this crutch that you don't have in other games where as long as you have rings, you're alive. And um So all you need to do is just have rings. It's really not that complex. Um Now, when you're playing solo, you know, it's not just about like just running through the game as fast as possible. I mean, that is one thing you can do if you want to try to get your best times on each level or something like that. Um, but a lot of it is also about just trying to find all the secrets and stuff like that. So that's where a lot of the fun in Sonic the Hedgehog lies. Uh, the classic ones, anyway. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's not good. Ooh, that was really close. All right, we'll take another stab at it. Might as well. We're here. Yeah, we failed already. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. We didn't get any of those rings. <laughs> oh, we got it. Whew, very close. Oh, we failed. Failed. Can we just exit? Let's exit. Come on. <laughs> oh, I really should just play with Sonic only. Tails is just getting in the way. You play as Sonic and Tails if you want to do two-player mode. So basically, somebody else can just take control of Tails and... You know. You do that. But... So I think the next stage is the mine level. The mine level is always really cool. I, I like playing the mine level. Um, it's just a cool level. I like the the backing music and some of the levels in this game. I don't really, you know, it's not that I don't really care for them. I just don't really think much about them when, like this level, for instance. I know it's a cool looking stage, but I just don't really ever think about it. Um, and every time I get to the level, I always kind of forget it's a part of the game. <laughs> it's just one of those levels. There's some throwbacks to the first Sonic the Hedgehog here in multiple ways. From some of the enemies to some of the platform types and whatnot. To even the, uh, the Green Hill Zone style grass, in a way.
See, if I had a second player here, I could have Tails grab me and go up there, but... Because, uh, there could be some extra rings, enough to give me an extra life, and you know what? I'm done with the bonus stages, I'm not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother. Oh, that's right, Tails can do extra damage, too, I totally forgot about that. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Just trying to stay on that lava to get that last ring, but I wasn't able to pick it up for some reason. Mystic Cave Zone. Now this level, there's a couple parts throughout the stage where you've got to be really careful because you'll end up in endless pits. Not endless pits really, but you'll end up in pits full of spikes and um, you won't be able to recover. You basically have to die. Running here, you've got these walls that come out, and they're spiked walls. Extra life. Nope, we're gonna skip you, bonus stage. You're taunting me. I'm done with you, bonus levels. We're done! Done! No more bonus stages. Now you gotta watch out, because even if you've got a bazillion rings, if you get crushed, you do die instantly, so... Is that a, I think that was that a continue I got or is that an extra life? I don't know Probably an extra life. It made the extra life noise Like, right here is a place you can get crushed pretty easily, actually. And right here is... <laughs> and if I had a second player or a second controller in there, I could have latched on the tails and he could... fly me back up to the top, but nope. Unfortunately, AI Tails won't do that for you, as far as I'm aware. AI Tails is not that smart, if you guys haven't been able to tell already. He's, uh, he's special. Special Tails. I swear, man, this enemy placement is can be aggravating at times. You just 
You go and you make a simple jump, bam! You slam into an enemy, or you slam into a... a ball and chain. <laughs> like, really? Come on. That's <laughs> so why Sonic the Hedgehog, you know... Despite it being based around speed, you really can't just bolt through a lot of the stages uh, as fast as you possibly can because, you know, you're going to take a hit if you do, so. Now, if I was trying to get to uh, some of these bonus stages again, I would be taking it really, really carefully right now. But right now, I don't even really care if I get hit. You know, I'm not not really a perfectionist when I play Sonic the Hedgehog. And, um... As you guys can tell, I just took two hits. But hey, we killed the boss really fast, so that's okay. Alright, I think we might be going to the Oil Ocean, and then, if that's it, um... We should be going to the Sky Chase level. Okay. Yeah, we're actually getting relatively close to the end now. We've got... we still got a, a handful of acts at, at the very least. Uh, there might be an extra one that I'm forgetting about. But, uh... But again, since I've gotten, you know, I'm not really focusing on bonus stages now, I just... My goal is just to get to the end now, and uh, beat Robotnik. I'm sure a lot of you guys watch, you want to see what happens on the final boss, because that's one of the, um... Notoriously difficult sections in the game. Uh, although I actually don't think it's that difficult, it's just about knowing exactly what to do. So... You guys will see once I get there, which it won't be too long from now. Well, I guess we're going down. What was that? That was crazy. Am I even going the right way now? I have no idea. I always get lost in this stage. It's, it's a little confusing. Uh, compared to the other stages in the game, it's definitely a little confusing. Ah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. I jumped too, uh, too late. There we go. There's the end. Yeah, if there's one thing this level does, is it never puts you where you think you're gonna get put. Like... You think, like, everything would just shoot you right, but no, it shoots you back left, and then up, and then down, and then you're like... 
I am officially confused. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of extra lies thrown around that kind of uh, emphasize discovering them with the use of tails. So basically having a second player with you and uh, getting you to fly up to areas you normally can't reach by yourself. Of course, if you have the Sonic the Hedgehog uh, and Knuckles cartridge, you can uh, latch that on to Sonic 2 and uh, get to those areas with Knuckles, which is pretty cool. Alright, boss time. Oh, I still got hit. Oops, I always forget you can't attack that one. Good. I had no more rings, so... Alright, so now I think we go to the air stage, and then after that, um... We're gonna go to the... I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Basically the last couple of stages, and then we're at the, uh, the final boss. Oh no, it's Metropolis Zone. Okay, we go to the air level after Metropolis, okay. I thought we went to the air level first, and then Metropolis. Goes to show how long it's been since I last played this game. Jeez. And what's sad is the last time I played this game, I think it was like two years since the last time I had played it before that. And I got all the Chaos Emeralds. Which we did not do this time. But I'm a little sad. Gotta watch out for these star guys. They uh they shoot in five different directions when they explode. Those side-to-side uh, -side springs that you see here, those are brought back into play in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 on the uh, Sonic 3 bonus stages. And you've got these uh, nuts here. You need to just hold in the right direction and you'll just run up. Kind of a cool concept, actually. I always thought that was pretty neat. Righty tidy, lefty Lucy. Now oh, we probably just jump down. Oops. <laughs> of course, we jump on the spikes. Good job. Now this might be an endless pit below us, we want to be kind of careful here.
All right, good. One down. I thought one of these, uh, I thought one of the stages in this game had three acts, just like uh, the first Sonic the Hedgehog. Maybe it's this one? I don't remember. I could be wrong. I could be thinking of a different Sonic game. Or maybe I'm thinking of Sonic 1. Isn't there an act in Sonic 1, or a world in Sonic 1 that only has two acts instead of three? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I hate you enemies. But I like rings. That means I can take as many hits as I need. Alright, so I think it's right here. You want to take your time and just because of these uh, stars that explode. And that's always an area that gave me trouble back as a kid. Ooh, that's not good. I guess it wasn't that bad. I thought that was going to be an endless pit, actually, so that's why I sort of freaked out for a second. Checkpoint. At least we got that. Oh geez, those things come after me. <laughs> Apparently when you get into your uh, spin dash phase, you can't get out of it. You have to actually spin dash. So that was my mistake. That was totally my mistake. I just let it sit there for a minute to see if it would stop. It only stops when you let go. Man, that's Sonic. He's got to get dizzy. Look at that. Tails is doing it too. <laughs> What? It was supposed to come out, man. Bam. Hit it. Thank you. <laughs> Buggy Sonic 2. Oh, jeez. Freaking stars, man. I tell you. <laughs> Freaking bug enemies, I tell you. <laughs> I need a ring. Any ring will do. There we go. I gotta say, my Sonic the Hedgehog skills right now, they look pretty pathetic, I'm sure. Yeah, this is the one that has three acts, okay. My skills are more than pathetic right now. <laughs> oh, jeez, stupid enemies. These enemies are real dumb. Do, 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 do. And I gotta say, I've never been a big fan of pretty much any of the late levels in the Sonic the Hedgehog games. They just, you know, 
enemies are trying to annoy you and blah 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 and it's just it's, the last levels in these games have always been kind of a downer for me to be honest Although it's been a while since I revisited Sonic 3, so I don't know if that's going to be the case for that game, but... We'll eventually let's play Sonic 3. Um, you know, Sonic 2 is just like, ah, it's an awesome game, and then you get to this level and you're just like, mmm, blah. <laughs> Turn the console off, let's play a different game. <laughs> What are your thoughts on the uh, the later stages in Sonic the Hedgehog? Um, I know everybody's got different opinions. Some people are going to love them, some people are going to hate them. Uh, I'm kind of lukewarm about them. I'm not, I don't hate them, but I, I just, I don't really feel anything when I play them. I'm just kind of like, eh. You know when you have like one of those nights, like those Friday nights where you feel like you should be doing something really special and you should be having lots of fun and just feeling life to the fullest, yet you don't. You slop, slouch, slouch down on the couch, you watch some TV show you don't really care about, and you're just like, eh. That's what I feel like when I get to the last final stages in uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And part one. See? Stuff like that, man. I don't I don't feel like dodging those guys anymore. Just slam into them, collect some rings, move on. Meh. That's how I feel. Oh, come on. I had that too. These don't want to explode, apparently. All right, boss time. Getting lazy. Ooh, that ring is gone. Yeah, I was dead. I wasn't able to pick up that ring, it just fell through the floor. Sometimes rings do that. See, one strategy you can do is when you, um... When you play with a friend, you can, um, basically just have them suicide over and over. And Oh, I did it again. Now we're on the air stage. I always wondered why they put a third act on the Metropolis Zone, but not any other stage in the game. Alright, I gotta say, I always did like this part, though. It's kind of a nice transition after that, uh... <laughs> buzzkill of a... of a zone. Although it's a lot more fun when you have Supersonic. Which we don't have. I can just go cry myself to sleep tonight because we didn't get Supersonic on my Let's Play. You guys can cry with me. Okay? What? Oh, 
<laughs> I did it again! Man. This is supposed to be an easy level. What the hell? I want my money back. Yeah, that's how I want my money back. Yeah, so as I just demonstrated, if you spin dash off the, uh, the plane, you'll probably die. Tails can't keep up. You can look at Tails, actually. He's, a. Uh, he looks like he's asleep sometimes. Look, he's, he's sleeping. He doesn't even care at this point. Remember, he's special after all. Special Tails. There's a reason the side of the plane says Sonic and not Tails. Ooh, I almost did it again. <laughs> By complete accident that time. The last two times were on purpose. <laughs> So basically by ducking you can position the plane a little bit lower and by holding up you can position the plane higher. It's kind of a weird mechanic actually, but uh, you get used to it. Apparently you can land on the top of the, uh, the ship by accident, which is what I just did. Alright, on to Act 2. Oh, not Act 2. I mean, Fortress Zone, apparently. So I think this level only has one act as well. And then I think after this level, we basically go, we fight uh, Metal Sonic. And then, um... And then we fight Robotnik. Whoa, what was happening there? That was odd. Ah, cool. Checkpoint. Did I just skip a lot of the stage? I can't tell. Remember there being uh, some endless platform, endless pit platforming early on, but I must have just skipped over it. That's kind of cool, actually, unless I haven't gotten to it yet. Oh no, I think we're gonna get to it right down here. So this level is not the favorite of everybody I know. Because there is some uh, tricky platforming. Another... Oh! Okay. That was weird. Oh, it's because of that. Ah, oh, I need... Okay. So, we need to basically jump over this. <laughs> Wait, I thought there was supposed to be... 
Oh, jeez, we're just... This is level siphoning our lives, and it's all my fault, too. Alright. Isn't there supposed to be something here? Are we supposed to go back? I have no idea. I don't think we're supposed to go back. Did we just like glitch out the level from skipping that part? No, maybe we're supposed to just jump over? I have no idea. Okay, why is this happening? <laughs> why is this freaking happening? Oh, why didn't you jump, Sonic? That seriously confused the hell out of me. If any of you guys are experts at this game, if you can tell me why that happened, um, please let me know. I am genuinely curious now, because that felt really, like, glitchy to me. Like, something should have happened, but nothing happened. Unless I'm just going the wrong way. Which could also very well be a possibility. Level's confusing the hell out of me. <laughs> like, all these checkpoints are done already. That's, it's weird. Like, they're... Okay, no, we went the right way. Okay. All the checkpoints were glowing. They're not supposed to be glowing like that. So we've got to do the final boss in five lives or less. Alright. Scripted moment. And then uh, we basically go to the final zone in the game, which is basically just a boss rush. We have to fight Metal Sonic and then Robonic. And if I recall correctly, you've got to do it without any rings. There's no crutch on the final boss. And that's why for a lot of people, when they get to this point in the game, they have trouble because they're so used to just well, being able to get away with anything because you can just keep grabbing a ring over and over again. So that doesn't really work here. I really want to know about that last section leading up to this, though, where like I just kept dying over and over. That was really, really weird. Oh, that was lucky. All right, so now we're at the final boss. Dr. Robotnik himself. So basically what you need to do here is wait for him to bend down, and then you can jump and hit him. I think that's how it works. 
Yeah. So he does this thing that locks on you that tells you where he's going to land. And then you can hit him like that. You want to get all the way back um, when he launches out his, uh, his arms. Otherwise, they go almost all the way across the screen, so... Fly up, dude. Thank you. Bend down. Yep. See? If you try to hit him when he does that, you're probably going to die. So... And this is it. You just rinse and repeat over and over again. We're probably getting close now. It's a grind, it's, you know, not really hard, it just takes time. And he literally doesn't do anything else. Almost. And that's it. We just beat Sonic the Hedgehog 2 without all the Chaos Emeralds. Unfortunately. And there's all the Flickies. Flickies are the birds in the Sonic series. Um, Flicky also had its own game by Sega in the arcades uh, back in the day, as well as on the Sega Genesis. And there might have been other versions of it as well. But uh, so that's Sonic the Hedgehog 2, guys. That's a full Let's Play of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, not really a whole lot else to talk about about the game. I mean. It's Sonic. I think most of you guys are pretty familiar with this series. Um, anybody that's not, that happens to be watching to this point, I suggest giving it a try. It's definitely a classic. Uh, just like Sonic the Hedgehog 1, there's definitely some parts of the game that are kind of like a, a buzzkill to me. And I don't really look forward to getting to or, or playing whenever I, I play through this game. But still, it's a, it's a fun game. It's a classic. It's great graphics, great sound, tight controls, all that good stuff. Um... 
So, for those of you guys that watched this, but, um, didn't know, I did do a full Let's Play of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 a few months back. So, feel free to check that out. And stay tuned, I will be doing a Let's Play of Sonic CD for the Sega CD very shortly. So, stay tuned for that as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I've got a lot more Let's Plays on the way and plenty in my back catalog here on my YouTube channel. Uh, for everybody else, thanks as usual for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.